Hello everyone, I'm Bill Green. Most everyone's you mean is different. When I was in high school, I applied to the university on the last possible day. And that next week, I was rejected. But it didn't stop me though. For more than a year, I worked during the day and took classes at night. And then I took classes during the day and worked at night. Along the way, I saw protests, covered sports, and crammed for finals. And somehow limped to graduation day in 1976. That's the spirit. Along with three of my siblings, Humane was there for me, and it's made the difference between happy, productive lives and who knows what. And as I said, most everyone's Humane is different. Tonight, we celebrate the Humane of eight individuals and one family. Welcome to the University of Maine Alumni Achievement Awards. Tonight, honoring Dr. Kimberly Dow. Jay Knowlton. Derek McKinney. James Varner. Bill Leach. Perry Clough. The Weston family. The 2022 Distinguished Maine Professor, Dr. Daniel Sandweiss. And our Alumni Career Award winner, the Honorable Lee Softley. The 2022 Alumni Achievement Awards. Brought to you by Bangor International Airport, the official airport of the Humane Black Bears and the official airport of you. Online at flybangor.com. Here again, our host, Bill Green. We begin with a rising star. This Black Bears work with new student programming, admissions, the Alumni Association, and the UMaine Foundation has helped attract many to the University of Maine. Dr. Kimberly Dow is one of our 2022 rising stars. This 2022 University of Maine Alumni Achievement Award is sponsored by WBRC. The real Kim Dow is just honestly the sweetest human being. I would wake up in the morning with a cough and before I got out of bed, she would have her homemade uh, chicken noodle soup on the stove. Kim really has a heart for helping other people, um, and she probably gotten that from her family, who she's really close with. Believe it or not, I've never met Kim Dow in person. Kim was assigned to be my mentor through All Maine Women. I was really struck by how engaged she was in me personally, um, seeing that we had never met. Even on our very first phone call, she was like, what can I do for you? How can I support you? And that was just really nice to hear from, from someone who's kind of been through the experience before. Kim was one of those students out there that was sort of special, I and mean, you, you knew it because she was so involved in everything. But it was really her humanity and her giving, always giving to the university in so many different ways that I noticed. And then when she graduated, went off down to Tufts, we needed folks to help with us uh, within our recruitment in enrollment management. So I contacted her, and right away she was really willing to, you know, do all these events with us. I wasn't surprised to see Kim selected as a rising star. Uh, she has always been a rising star in our class in, in college and beyond. Um, and she has always uh, spread that light to everyone around her as well. And now she's guiding others like myself to be those forever black bears. Kim says the University of Maine is the best thing that ever happened to her, I think. Kim is one of the best things that ever happened to the University of Maine. It's great to have mentors, it's great to have these forever black bears, but it's really great to have Kim Dow be part of our humane tradition. Thank you so much uh, to the Humane Alumni Association for honoring me with this award. I can't tell you how influential my time at Humane has been. Um, I, I have to first, of course, thank my family um, who've been there to support me, but the Humane 
community as a whole has really fostered my, my growth, um, helped me become the person I am today. So thank you so much to the Humane community for just being there um, and continuing to inspire me to do what I do every day. And I hope together we can continue to change the world. This 2022 University of Maine Alumni Achievement Award is sponsored by WBRC. Let's meet another rising star. This black bear advocates for UMaine alumni in many ways, with university graduates and friends in Southern Maine, and by keeping the students and alumni of both Phi Kappa Sigma fraternity and the Senior Skulls Honor Society engaged. Jay Knowlton is a 2022 rising star. This 2022 University of Maine Alumni Achievement Award is sponsored by Bulos Asset Management. Jay and I uh, went to undergrad together. We were both in the um, biology program. We both became skulls together and then we became much more than colleagues. Um, up until that point, I always just knew him as, you know, the frustratingly smartest guy in the room <laughs> where with every project, he was the one people were trying to pair up with. During his time on campus, Jay was incredibly involved. He was a part of Operation Hearts. He was a part of a fraternity. And where I got to know him, he was a member of the Senior Skulls. In his junior year, Jay spent the entire spring semester touring up and down the entire East Coast, trying to get alumni involvement for the University of Maine. Where most kids would have loved to spend their time on the beach, Jay was in a bus with the Alumni Association campaigning for scholarships and for raising funds for students at the University of Maine. Now that is a true black bear. What drives Jay? I'd say his ultimate drive above all else is to try and bring a positive change to healthcare. Today, he's working with Quartet Health, whose mission and vision is to provide better patient outcomes for mental health across the United States. Not only for healthcare systems and providers, but also trying to minimize costs and for patients and making sure that it works better for them in a way that they can actually afford. Like I said, Jay is always trying to make things better. And from what I can tell, what he's doing at Cortland Health, that is exactly what he's doing. Am I surprised to see Jay where he is at Quartet Health? Absolutely not. His passion for people, his passion for healthcare, his passion for public policy has him doing what he does best, putting people first. I'm thrilled to accept the University of Maine Alumni Association's 2022 Rising Star Award. Uh, the university has always meant so much to me and my family. I'm a third generation black bear. I have fond memories from a young age going to hockey games uh, and many fond memories from my years on campus, um, from academics to research uh, to uh, Greek life and community involvement. Um, everything that I learned in Orono gave me the tools and ambition and curiosity uh, to go after and chase my dreams uh, and, and go into graduate school and get excited about uh, contributing to public health and the, the, the greater community health uh, around me. And I'm, I'm really thrilled to be recognized by the Alumni Association for this. Uh, and thank you so much for the honor. Uh, go Black Bears! This 2022 University of Maine Alumni Achievement Award is sponsored by Bulos Asset Management. The University of Maine alumni community is an active one, engaging former, current, and future black bears in events, providing networking opportunities, and promoting university excellence. Perry Clough has helped the association do all of that and much, much more. And we're honoring Perry Clough with a 2022 Suzanne K. Hart. This 2022 University of Maine Alumni Achievement Award is sponsored by the University of Maine Class of 1963. Perry, I've known for 60 plus years. We were freshman at the University of Maine the same year. We're fraternity brothers in Sigma Chi. He's a great asset. He loves to think outside the box. When he's involved in something, he's involved in it. And that's what he's done with the University of Maine. I, I'm not sure what drives Perry, but there's, it's deep. He sets a tone for volunteerism that I don't think can be matched today. 
2016, he stepped up and wrote uh, essentially a strategic plan for the whole Alumni Association. The other thing that he did for the class of 1963, Perry was a, was a key guy on, on the 50th reunion, and it was one of the best reunions that I understand the University Alumni Association had had. Perry was tenacious, outspoken, and brutally honest. Perry would tell you exactly what he was thinking and exactly what you needed to hear. Perry lives in Rhode Island. Perry was known as the King of Rhode Island. To come to the University of Maine for board meetings, that's a six hour each way commitment. He would drive six hours from Rhode Island just to be in a meeting. He's never said, I can't be there or it's too far. What does that tell you about Perry? But in Perry's case, I think he's uh, very bright, he's very energetic, he works hard. And so it, I'm not surprised that he is, has been very successful in, in business in his career. He's just, he's a very sharp guy. There were two degrees that I understand Perry got while he was here at Orono. One was, of course, from the University of Maine as a member of the, the class of 1963. But I think the one that may be most important was the one that he got from the Farnsworth Institute of Malted Arts. I think to earn that degree from the Farnsworth Institute, you had to consume quite a considerable amount of, of beer and pizza from Pat's. Perry must have consumed a lot of pizza and a lot of beer to earn that degree. There were a lot of people that loved the University of Maine. There's a lot of people that are leaders with the University of Maine, and Perry is actually both. The Alumni Association is as strong as it is today, thanks to Perry and his leadership and dedication. I don't know where all the Perry Cluffs are these days, but, but here, the University of Maine is, is darn lucky to have had this Perry Clough. Darn lucky. You know, I was a complete and a great surprise to learn that I'd received this year's Suzanne Howard Award. I know Suzanne. I worked with her on the alumni board. Fine, fine lady. Second, I've learned that the Hart Award and its predecessor have been awarded to 80 alumni over the last, since 1930. Interestingly enough, four of the 80 are classes of 1963. My class, rare if not unique. Finally, two of this year's award winners, uh, one of them being me and the other one, the award winner for the photo Award, our ancestors are the same two guys, students from Madison, Maine, who were in the very first class of the University of Maine. So that's it. And again, I couldn't be more pleased. I thank you a great deal. This 2022 University of Maine Alumni Achievement Award is sponsored by the University of Maine Class of 1963. We know Maine's motto, dare go. It means I lead. When the world needed essential cotton swabs for COVID-19 testing, Derek McKinney led the ramping up of production at Puritan Medical here in Maine, saving many lives. As the company's senior product engineer, Derek helped make Puritan Medical one of the world's largest producers of testing swabs. Our 2022 Spirit of Maine Achievement Award goes to Derek McKinney. This 2022 University of Maine Alumni Achievement Award is sponsored by Puritan Medical Products. Picture this, here we are in 2020. The pandemic has just hit. We all need to get tested for COVID. What they need is the specialized swabs that are used for nasal swabs. Who makes it? Puritan Medical Products in Guilford, Maine. Um, Derek McKinney's mother was, is the Director of Procurement for Puritan Medical Products and Harvard Products Company in Guilford, Maine. And Derek grew up with the business through high school. He worked uh, in the business during his, you know, his high school years and then went off to the University of Maine and he worked all through the summers and the vacations. Derek uh, graduated and to our disappointment, he went off to work for a company called Beckton Dickinson. I was speaking with his mother one day and I said, you know, wouldn't it be nice if Derek, you know, found his way back to Guilford? And we talked a little bit about what Derek likes to do. He likes to fish, he likes to hunt, he likes to make maple syrup. When he's living in New Jersey, traveling 70% of the time, you don't get a lot of hunting and, and making maple syrup. So we made him an offer, um, and lo and behold, he moved back. 
when COVID came March uh, 15th or so of uh, 2020, the government called us. They wanted a new factory produced and we scurried around, found a facility. And there it goes, Derek, off he goes. And he built that facility. Built in, you know, three to three and a half, four months. We were asked to do the impossible. And the impossible was to try to convert an existing facility in eight to nine weeks to produce swabs. Can't was not part of Derek's vocabulary. And his ability to engineer, mastermind the equipment, answer the questions for the project team was just unbelievable. Haven't seen anything like it. He was making trips to Germany to buy the specialized equipment they made. He was working with Bath Iron Works. Derek was integral to all of this. And picture this, he's only six years out of school. In the last three years, I've been presented with many amazing opportunities to make a difference in the world with Puritan's critical products. We have worked tirelessly around the clock to provide the testing supplies required to keep Americans safe. He's now enrolled in our graduate certificate program in engineering management, uh, which he is doing along with his still very full-time job. And I certainly expect more great things from Derek. Everyone at Puritan is very fortunate and lucky to have Derek McKinney on our team. Thank goodness Derek McKinney was part of the solution for us and our country. And who knows how many other Derek McKinney's we have right now among our students here at the University of Maine. First of all, I want to thank the University of Maine Alumni Association and the Greater University of Maine community for this year's Spirit of Maine Achievement Award. The four years I spent at UMaine as part of the mechanical engineering program have been the foundation of my career going forward. The countless days and nights spent studying with Abe Hamilton transformed us into hardworking, dedicated UMaine Black Bear engineers. This hard work and dedication has shown through in my career through and through, whether it be at my first position outside the state of Maine or at my current position with Puritan Medical Products. I can say without a doubt that my time at UMaine has been instrumental in defining my professional career and outlining my path for a future forward. I extend my deepest gratitude and thanks to the UMaine Alumni Association for the honor of this year's award. Thank you all. This 2022 University of Maine Alumni Achievement Award is sponsored by Puritan Medical Products. Last August, we lost a dear friend of the University of Maine Alumni Association. Reflecting on this memorable alumnus, here's the president and CEO of the UMaine Alumni Association, John Diamond. 20 years ago, Dr. Robert Buchanan and his wife, Pearlie, led the grand opening of this very special building, Buchanan Alumni House. It's one of the most impressive and recognizable buildings on the Orono campus. Along with being the headquarters of both the Alumni Association and the UMaine Foundation, it's a place where students, alumni, and community guests gather for meetings, events, and to unwind. More than almost any other single individual, Dr. Buchanan made this beautiful facility possible. It's a lasting legacy to a beloved and generous alumnus. Dr. Buchanan was an Aroostook County native and a proud member of UMaine's class of 1944. After UMaine, he attended and graduated from Tufts University Dental School. In fact, a bronze statue of him is a well-known landmark on that campus. Following a 10-year career as an army dentist, he moved to California, where he established a private practice. There, Dr. Buchanan was also Professor Buchanan. He taught operative dentistry at the University of Southern California. Though his adult life was spent outside of Maine, his daughter Lisa said his heart was always in the state, particularly here at the University of Maine. His home was filled with artwork and mementos related to the university. And until the pandemic arrived, he would return to campus each year. He'd tour campus, meet with students at Memorial Union, and also spend time at Beta Theta Pi fraternity, his home when he was a student here. Throughout his life, he had many titles, husband, father, doctor, major, professor, mentor and benefactor. We had been planning to host Dr. Buchanan this month for a celebration of his 100th birthday. 
Sadly, he passed away a few months ago at his home in Colorado. But though he'll no longer be joining us in person, his daughter Lisa says she knows he will continue to be with us in spirit. Here's to Dr. Robert Buchanan, to whom the University of Maine was indeed the college of his heart always. Jim Varner was one of Maine's first black student athletes. His lifetime of activism to advance civil rights in Maine and America established him as mentor, educator, and champion of equity and inclusion. Today at 88, Jim remains a leader in the fight for human rights, and we present him with the 2022 Bernard Lown Humanitarian Award. This 2022 University of Maine Alumni Achievement Award is sponsored by the University of Maine Foundation. I know Jim Varner from being a student athlete at the University of Maine. The student athlete population is kind of where you would get most of the students of color. Uh, so he wanted us to feel welcome and just be that presence and, and be that kind of elder statesman that was available and around in case we needed anything. Going back to his days where he was a student athlete, I couldn't imagine what it was like for him when he was at school. I bet you he educated some of the educators. So I know that uh, JV often talked about when he first came to the University of Maine, there were not many people of color at the University of Maine. And he um, particularly took great pride in the fact that he was the first person of color at his uh, fraternity. I honestly didn't know how much of a, you know, humanitarian, the things that he'd seen and been a part of, and it just wowed me. JB was instrumental in bringing the Martin Luther King Jr. breakfast to the University of Maine and helped us to get major speakers to come each year. The best speaker we ever had was an MLK impersonator. He did the I Have a Dream speech, and it was beautiful, so moving. We are free at last. Let's make, let's give life to Dr. Martin Luther King's dream of America. And let's do it now. The hour, the hour is late, but it's not too late. So if you asked me the number of people he's influenced and the number of minds that Jim's opened, I, I couldn't even begin to guess that number. There's no doubt that things are better in that state, you know, because of Jim Varner. I believe our university and our entire region is more diverse and more accepting of diversity because of the great work of Jim Varner. I'm grateful for this award. I'm honored for this award. I'm also grateful and thankful for my mother who raised me to love and be loved. I'm grateful for the University of Maine for my education. But another thing that I'm grateful for is that I got to walk and be inspired by Dr. Martin Luther King Jr and to be a part today of making his dream a reality, of giving life to his dream. You and I together can do it. I am so very, very grateful. This 2022 University of Maine Alumni Achievement Award is sponsored by the University of Maine Foundation. One of our 2022 recipients is not a black bear, but his work on behalf of the University of Maine Honors College, inspired by his late wife, Betsy Pullen Leach, has shown that this 1956 graduate of MIT has a heart for Maine. Bill Leach is our 2022 champion of UMaine. This 2022 University of Maine Alumni Achievement Award is sponsored by the University of Maine Honors College. Bill found his passion for helping the Honors College through his wife, Betsy, who was a Colvin girl. She's a 1955 graduate of the University of Maine and lived in Colvin. 
Bill and Betsy had made a small contribution to the Honors College. One of the students, Nick Cloutier, had this idea, let's send Bill and Betsy a postcard um, thanking them for their generosity in enabling us to attend this conference. And Bill and Betsy were so thrilled that they came back and said to our former dean, Charlie Slavin, what else can we do? And they made possible all of these other experiences for our students and have continued to do so. He and his late wife, Betsy, supported student travel to Washington, D.C. on spring break to the National Collegiate Honors Conference and for research to special and unique places like Singapore. On bus trips to Washington, D.C., the students would stop and visit Betsy and Bill in their backyard. And they were so delighted to meet the students who were the beneficiaries of their support for the Honors College. Even before I began to lead the Honors College at the University of Maine, I had heard of Bill Leach. We had a meeting working on an experiential learning trip called Hurricane Island, and people kept saying, and there's Bill Leach who's supporting this, and he was mentioned about five times in this meeting. So I knew he was an important figure, and he is just an amazing man with a wealth of experience, but a wealth of heart and passion. And what makes Bill Leach such a special person is he shares that wealth. What gave Betsy joy and what still gives Bill joy today are the postcards that the students send from their destinations around the world. Betsy passed away but Bill carries on her legacy and her passion and her commitment to the University of Maine. Betsy and I met in New York in 1963. We were married shortly after that and made our first trip to the University of Maine and met uh, some of the honors people and uh, our former roommates in the uh, Colvin Hall class. One of the things that gives me a great deal of pleasure out of working with the students is that we get a lot of thank yous. You know, you don't get a lot of that from universities located here in Boston along the river. I want to thank the Alumni Association for this award and keeping track of the kind of commitments we've made over the years to the University of Maine. This 2022 University of Maine Alumni Achievement Award is sponsored by the University of Maine Honors College. The University of Maine graduated its first class in 1872, and of those first graduates, two were Westons. More recently, a member of the Weston family graduated from the University of Maine in 2003, and there were many, many Westons between. For their deep ties to the University of Maine, we honor the Weston family with the 2022 Fogler Legacy Award. This 2022 University of Maine Alumni Achievement Award is sponsored by the University of Maine College of Engineering. The Weston family has an amazing legacy at the University of Maine. The first graduating class was 1872. Only six graduates, and there were two members of the Weston family amongst that group. One was Benjamin Gould, who alphabetically was the first graduate from the University of Maine and the second was George Weston. And that started the Weston family tradition. Go ahead, another generation, 1900, another graduate, Wallace Weston. Wallace Weston's son, William Weston, majored in agricultural engineering and graduated in 1949. William had a son, Peter. And Peter is a 1978 graduate from the University of Maine. Peter earned his degree in mechanical engineering. Think about that. From the first graduating class up to modern times, there's been a member of the Weston family. Peter Weston became the co-owner of a company called Lacoste and Weston. Now, when he was cleaning out one of his family's homes, he came across some drawings. Peter was perceptive enough to realize what they were. This included homework problems done 
by the first graduating class 150 years ago. And it included drawings from his great-grandfather, Wallace, class of 1900. The drawings from his grandfather, Wallace, an incredibly intricate drawing of a monkey wrench. It is truly a work of art. And Peter, being the perceptive person that he is, he realized this trove that he had found. He donated it to the university, and it now lives in special collections at the University of Maine. When the University of Maine was founded in 1865, that was very early. And from the start, we were an engineering and agricultural college. So the Weston family, including Mr. Gould and Weston, in that first class, they came to UMaine because we were in the forefront. And the subsequent generations came to UMaine because of the quality of our engineering program. We are so pleased to have multiple generations of the Weston family study engineering at the University of Maine. And we are incredibly proud of what the Weston family has done in terms of their contribution to engineering. I'd like to thank the University of Maine for honoring the Weston family. It's a big honor. I wish uh, my uh, ancestors could be here to appreciate this. The University of Maine has been a big part of the Weston family for since the University of Maine was first established, especially when you consider that my father's family were farmers. There was not a lot of money back in the 1930s for them did manage to go to college. It was a lot of hard work for them to get there. They did it and it meant a lot to them and the University of Maine was the reason they were able to do it. So thank you to Alumni Association of the University of Maine. This 2022 University of Maine Alumni Achievement Award is sponsored by the University of Maine College of Engineering. The selection criteria to earn our next award is rigorous. Only by fulfilling the University of Maine's land-grant tradition of teaching, research, and public service at the highest level might one even earn the Distinguished Maine Professor Award. This 2022 University of Maine Alumni Achievement Award is sponsored by Penobscot Financial Advisors. Hello, everyone. I'm Julia Muncy, Class of 2002. In the early 1960s, the late Mike Roy and other members of the class of 1942 established an endowment fund to annually honor a member of the University of Maine faculty. Mike and his classmates did not want this to be just any award. They wanted it to be the most prestigious award a UMaine faculty member could receive. So they created the endowment fund and built it up to the point where each year the distinguished Maine professor honoree receives a check for $4,200, a nod to the class of 42. Ten years ago, Mike Roy and his remaining classmates passed the torch to my class, the class of 2002, and asked us to take responsibility for keeping the endowment fund well-fueled. The Alumni Association has also taken a financial interest in making sure that the distinguished Maine professor honorees, past and present, are celebrated for the roles they have played in elevating the University of Maine's quality, value, and reputation. On behalf of the class of 2002 and in honor of the class of 1942, it's my pleasure to congratulate the 2022 Distinguished Maine Professor, Dr. Daniel Sandweiss. Most administrators, and I'll include myself in this, become administrators. And Dan remained a scholar as well as an administrator. He's endlessly curious. He always wants to know more, find out more, discover more, make more connections. And that's really what's characterized his work as a scholar and a researcher, that he persistently connects things that other people don't think to connect. Dan is a preeminent New World archaeologist. Dan has worked a lot in Peru on Peruvian coastal settlements, thousands of years old, and then Dan started using the archaeological data to identify El Nino. That was the first time it had been done. He showed that El Nino is at least 9,000 years old and that it varied in um, intensity as it still does today. Dan's commitment to uh, his research work as an archaeologist in Peru has really global implications. Uh, it's grounded in Peru, yes, but uh, that's certainly not where its significance begins or ends. Dan Sandweiss's work in Peru and all around the world, he brings that back to Orono, Maine, and he helps put us on the map. 
What's fascinating about archaeology and the kind of work that Dr. Sandweiss does is that he digs into the past to help us learn and understand the future. With his interest in climate change, he is able to learn from the archaeological work that he does and predict and project and help us to understand our planet and how it may change over time, and for that we're very, very grateful. Dan's research is certainly an independent endeavor, but it's also a very collaborative one. And he has created opportunities for graduate students um, throughout the time that he has been here. He's also very generous with younger scholars. Dan is my advisor, mentor, and I would have to say role model. He had just finished up um, being dean and he was going back to being professor. And my undergrad advisor was diagnosed with and passed away with pancreatic cancer. Yes, uh, the late Brian Robinson. Unbeknownst to me at the time, Brian had gone and um, spoken with Dan about taking me on as a student. We had never met Dan before, we had never interacted before, and Dan just very grac graciously accepted that and took me under his wing, and we've been going pretty strong ever since. It's been a really interesting journey, and I don't know if a lot of advisees can say that they've seen their advisor like go through growth as a human and I've been able to experience that with Dan. As outstandingly professional Dan is, he's really wonderful personally too. If, if you were to meet him in a food store or something, I, I, you would never guess of his reputation, his standing in, in his professional field. He's always respectful, got a good sense of humor, and I just know personally, he's just very easy to work with. And not all collaborators are like that. I don't know how Dan functions daily. He is involved with so many committees and activities. I would have to imagine that his calendar is just stocked so full. Like he has every time slot pretty much filled with everything. And he still finds a way. Whenever you ask if he has time to meet, he'll find a way to like fit you in and give you the amount of time that you need to really like discuss what you need to talk about and help move you forward, as well as helping out people who aren't even his advisees. He's, he does so much for everyone. Dan is an interesting combination of very cautious and very confident. One would think that those two things um, wouldn't occupy the same space and the same person, but for Dan, they do. He is cautious and careful, and that gives him, I believe, the confidence to know that he's right and to be able to express that in a really compelling way. He excels in all dimensions of the university professor's role. He is a fantastic teacher, well loved by his students, and he engages in public service and community leadership. He's uh, active in professional societies for his field. He does a lot of work in a variety of communities. He's just a star, and I couldn't be more thrilled that he's won this award. Dan, I'm so very proud of you for winning this wonderful award. It's so richly deserved. You exemplify what we value here at the University of Maine. A scholar, a teacher, a community-engaged person. You've been recognized across your career with many awards, many forms of recognition. Your national leadership is phenomenal. You're so much more than an advisor. You're a friend and a role model, not only to me, but to all of your students, past, present, and future. And on behalf of all of us, thank you. I am so honored to receive this award. I've been at the University of Maine for almost 30 years, and this is my home. This has made my career with such great people in such a great environment to do interdisciplinary work, to have interdisciplinary students, when I was hired, it was a dream job. They offered me a joint position in what is now the Climate Change Institute and the Anthropology Departments, two outstanding units. And I've had just wonderful colleagues, wonderful students, and a really great time in my 30 years here. I couldn't imagine a better place to have pursued my career. I'm far from done. It's just too much fun to stop doing it. But I am incredibly grateful to be given this award. It is so meaningful to me given that this is my home. This 2022 University of Maine Alumni Achievement Award is sponsored by Penobscot Financial Advisors. The Alumni Career Award is the association's highest honor. 
It acknowledges the life's work of graduates who've accomplished remarkable success and achievements in their professional, business, civic, and or public service. The Honorable Lee Ingalls Softley is the youngest person and the first woman to serve as the Chief Justice of the Maine Supreme Judicial Court. Today, as Dean of the University of Maine School of Law, she continues to put the state of Maine and the future of education and justice first. This 2022 University of Maine Alumni Achievement Award is sponsored by Eaton Peabody, Attorneys at Law. Lee Softley is a true daughter of Maine. She grew up in Portland, came to Orono to attend the University of Maine, and then went on to the University of Maine School of Law. She had such experience. First in the Attorney General's office, heading up the uh, Child Protection Division, and then in the District Court, running the docket of child protection and family law cases and evictions and collections and all the stuff that goes to the District Court. As you know, that's the People's Court. Then she rose to the Superior Court, and for a time uh, she ran the Superior Court system for a bit. She spent many years at, on the Supreme Judicial Court of Maine, and she was Chief Justice for a very long time. Lee Softley is a brilliant jurist. Uh, she's just extraordinary. She has the ability to boil down the most complex legal and factual issues to their essence, and she can write the decision in a crisp fashion. She's also a great humanist, and when she gets the cases, she has a particular attention to the most vulnerable in our population, the juveniles, the family matters, and that always factors in her decision-making process. She cares about each and every litigant, children, family situations. She wants to make sure that defendants in criminal cases are treated appropriately. She was a very good justice and a very thoughtful justice. And she instituted a lot of changes in the court system so that judges weren't confined to one court or another. She got rid of some of the silos that we all see in state government. And she got people working together uh, like never before. And she made sure that every single member of the judicial branch was as productive as, as they possibly could be. But now, instead of continuing as Chief Justice, which would have been very easy for her to do, she is in the trenches working hard at the University of Maine School of Law. I was very impressed with her, that she was willing to step away from that and to work, go to a law school that needed a lot of help. She had all the skills, the ability to do that. So yes, we were surprised, but we understood why it, why it had to happen. And I thought, well, that's a great decision on her part to go to the law school. At a time when that school needed a burst of leadership, um, they needed a kick-ass person, and she was it. Uh, I think she's doing a terrific job. I watched her report uh, just recently about how things are going, the new building, the, the, uh, the momentum. It's, it looks, from the outside, like a whole new uh, operation. And th that doesn't surprise me at all. Lee Softly, in her new role, is possibly training a future Chief Justice of the Maine Supreme Court. Oh, who knows who's in those classes right now at that law school? What drives Lee softly? What drives her is what drives me, what drives a lot of public officials. Uh, not just to be the first at something, but to be the best you can be. First of all, she is possessed of boundless positive energy. And she demonstrates that attitude towards life, that character of being a main person, but also inspiring others to be the best they can be. When she accepts a position of responsibility, it is clear that her objective is to make things better. And uh, I think she makes the people around her better too. She is someone Maine can be truly proud of and to whom we owe a great debt of gratitude because she is giving back. Lee Softly, I'm so proud to know you both as a judge, a chief justice, district court judge, superior court justice, and now as dean of the law school. I'm a big admirer of yours, as you know, and I'm proud to call you my friend. Lee, I just want to add my, my words to those already spoken. I am so 
thrilled that this is, this is happening for you. You deserve it, and uh, I hope that everyone will be able to understand the human being you are, one of the most exceptional, extraordinary people I have ever had the pleasure to know. Lee, thank you for being such a shining example of a graduate of the University of Maine. Lee, I am so proud of you for receiving this award. You have served the state of Maine well, and you are continuing to serve the state of Maine well, and I'm proud to call you a friend. The Career Award from the University of Maine Alumni Association allows me, finally, to express two things to my alma mater. First, gratitude for the extraordinary education I received at the University of Maine. And second, amazement at the opportunities that UMaine currently offers its students. Exactly 50 years ago this year, I accepted UMaine's offer to become a student in the fall of 1972. When I arrived that fall, the world was changing rapidly just as it is now. In the spring of 1973, the last U.S. troops left Vietnam. In August of 1974, the President of the United States, Richard Nixon, resigned from office following a scandal. In the midst of those changes, I found community, first on the Hill in Oxford Hall, and then through campus-wide involvement. I also found the opportunities for an education that opened doors for me throughout the rest of my life. After graduating and going on to law school at Maine Law, I spent 10 years in the Attorney General's office, 30 years as a judge, and now I have the great honor to serve as Dean of Maine Law. In this role, I've learned once again the impressive array of opportunities that the University of Maine provides its students in today's changing world. From the first semester opportunities to be directly involved in important research, to the Climate Change Institute, the Extraordinary Composite Center, to preparation for careers in business, engineering, healthcare, biomedical sciences, the opportunities for success in so many career pathways abound. I am immensely proud of my alma mater, and I am honored to receive the Career Award from the University of Maine Alumni Association. Thank you. This 2022 University of Maine Alumni Achievement Award is sponsored by Eaton Peabody, Attorneys at Law. So wins the 2022 UMaine Alumni Association Achievement Awards to this year's winners, our rising stars. A leader when medicine needed one most. Our champion of the Honors College a fervent fighter for human rights, an ally of our alumni community, a family with us from the beginning, a researcher helping discover our past and understand our future, and a groundbreaking jurist and educator who is putting Maine first. Congratulations. I'm Bill Green. Thank you for joining us and supporting the University of Maine the College of Our Hearts, always.